The management of FOD, foreign object debris, is a crucial part of Darkhem's manufacturing process, and your care and assistance in its control is imperative to ensure the quality of all of our finished products. Watching this video will reinforce the basic good practices and guidelines which you must use when handling materials and products to prevent contamination, corrosion, damage, deterioration or invasion of foreign objects or substances. Its control begins with the receipt of materials, the processes they go through, their storage and finally their dispatch. Remember, any kind of metallic deposits such as swarf, oxide scale, rust, grease, oil or dirt could have a detrimental effect on the metallurgical properties of stainless steel or other metal alloys. This could easily result in scratches, pitting, accelerated corrosion, weld cracks and arcing to the surfaces of components and assemblies. That is why your help with the control and elimination of FOD is crucial to the integrity of our products and materials. To begin with, make sure that you keep floor areas clean at all times and ensure that they are free from swarf, metallic particles, dirt and grease. It is very important that you report any spillages and make sure that they are dealt with in accordance with Darkhem's spillage procedures. If any materials or products are within the area of the spill, they must be quarantined until they have been fully inspected to ensure that they have not been contaminated. If you do find that any materials have been contaminated, you must remove them under suitably controlled conditions. This could include additional rework operations added to the product traveller and the affected material, or a reinspection of the product to ensure that it is free from any FOD. Making sure that you keep your bench, tools and machine equipment in a clean condition is so important in the control of FOD. Also, storing your tools correctly will help prevent the possibility of them being damaged. You must never consume any food within the work area. You may, however, consume drinks in the work area, but only if you take the greatest of care to prevent contamination. In other words, don't spill any. Please follow good housekeeping practices by making sure that you dispose of any plastic cups or bricks containers in the appropriate waste bins when you have finished. Yeah. Make sure that all material offcuts like swarf, fluids or grease are controlled and disposed of in accordance with the manufacturer's recommendations and any other regulatory requirements. Dispose of all consumable items such as wipes, gloves, abrasive paper in the appropriate general waste bins that you will find situated around the facility. If you happen to come across an area where you have a serious concern that a potential FOD incident may occur, then report this immediately to your supervisor or manager. Any incidents of FOD should be dealt with in the following way. If you find any FOD, do not disturb the evidence. Stop working or processing any further parts immediately. Notify your supervisor at once. By following these three steps, the appropriate investigation can be started and documented, which will then allow the contaminated material to be removed in a controlled manner. It is very important that you suitably protect all parts during the various stages of manufacture, from goods receipt through to dispatch. This will help to minimise any possible damage that might occur through handling. Wherever possible, make sure that all handling equipment such as slings, hooks, lift truck forks or stacker trolleys are also suitably protected. 
This is to prevent direct metal-to-metal -metal contact and will help to reduce the risk of scratches or scoring of any surfaces. Always assess any methods of handling components to ensure that they are free from sharp corners or loose parts, which could damage the product. You must also make sure that any methods of handling that you do use conforms to the latest health and safety requirements. Wherever possible, protect the open ends of pipes, valves or drill holes to prevent the potential ingress of FOD. To reduce the possibility of non-ferrous contamination, make sure that any metals with low melting points such as lead, copper, aluminium and zinc are separated from stainless steel and other metal alloys at all times. Make sure that all materials are stored under cover in dry, ventilated areas, that they are out of direct contact with the floor and that they are segregated from dissimilar materials. Remember that steel should be separated by suitable means from other materials such as mild steel and aluminium. Also make sure that you store any work in progress in a similar manner, ensuring that you keep any metal-to-metal -metal contact to an absolute minimum. Never allow any components or raw materials to be in direct contact with the floor and always place them on suitable racking or in suitable storage boxes. If you store any products on pallets, make sure that you cover the wood with suitable material to prevent contamination from wood shavings or other loose material. Materials with a shelf life should be stored as per the manufacturer's recommended instructions and it is important that you review them periodically. Where necessary, dispose of them and replace them. It is important that any welding consumables, such as electrodes and filler wire, are stored in a controlled environment in accordance with the manufacturer's and, where specified, customer requirements. Always assess the condition of all materials prior to their release to manufacturing, and remember that the release of any material from stores must be in accordance with the relevant business unit procedures. Where specified, you should only coat materials or components with specifically approved preservatives. You must maintain the highest levels of cleanliness throughout any of our manufacturing processes in accordance with industry and customer specification and requirements. If you are involved in any grinding, polishing, cutting or drilling operations, make sure that they are controlled to ensure that stainless steel is suitably protected from any nearby process that may be being conducted on mild steel or aluminium. To avoid any cross-contamination, you must make sure that any brushes, Polishing all grinding attachments are clearly identified to show the type of material that they may be used for. Ensure that you keep the guillotine blades, rolls and brake presses clean and remove any loose material from the rear of the machine prior to cutting or forming. Remember, besides metallic and other impurities, certain other materials, fluids, liquids, or preservatives could also have a detrimental effect on the base materials being used. If you are using any materials such as dye penetrants, marker pens, tape, grinding discs or solvents, make sure that they are in accordance with those approved by the customer. If you are doing any cleaning by degreasing or descaling, you must again make sure that it is done in accordance with the approved manufacturing procedures and any customer's specification requirements. Before final packing, 
it is very important that you visually inspect the component or assembly to ensure that it is free from any contamination that could cause FOD. Remember to also check the reusable or returnable packaging to also ensure that that is free from FOD. You must only use packaging materials that have been approved by the customer. When you are packing the components or assembly, it is important to remember that you must identify it by its relevant internal or customer packaging procedure. The consignment can then be shipped in accordance with any shipping instructions together with the appropriate documentation. It is so important that you report and document all cases of FOD and we recommend that you do this by using the QPulse database which is available to all business units. Remember to carry out a regular review of all reported FOD incidents to ensure that the continued effectiveness of any corrective actions is taking place. The management of FOD is a crucial part of Darkem's manufacturing processes and its control is imperative to ensure the quality of our finished products. So, remember by following the procedures outlined in this presentation, the risk of FOD contaminating our products and materials will be greatly reduced. <laughs>